Good morning. I'm Arnold Rodriguez with Rodriguez Roofing. As you can see, we're on a tile roof here. I, I want to kind of go through the first five important steps in installing a tile roof. Um, I'd like to start by saying, you know, number one would be the underlayment. Uh, underlayment is most important because most of the time you'll have a, uh, you need to really look at your beds to see if they have a 30 pound underlayment or an ice and water underlayment. And I'll show you what the difference is here. Uh, the 30 pound is basically just a 30 pound felt that you would use on any comp composition installation, which is really, really a no-no. If you watch the manufacturers, if you look at the manufacturer specs, they read that they, they recommend an ice and water shield. And what that ice and water shield is, is basically a self-adhered underlayment, rubberized, that's, that becomes a roof under a roof. So again, this is the most important thing, and that's the first thing you need to look at when you receive your bid is your underlayment because if you're, you know, two or $3,000 difference, that's why. And again, this is the most important part of the roof, of the beginning of a tile roof. Number two, uh, you're looking at the one by two battens. This is what we install to, to screw, to nail or screw the fasten the tile down. Uh, the importance here, they have to be treated. If they're not treated, like I said, from time to time, you may have water come underneath the tile roof but this this ice and water shield is a roof within a roof so you got to be it's got to be it's got to be real important that these are treated that it's treated lumber number three this flashing this is custom built flashing that we build in a metal shop and we know most flashings will not come with this splasher guard is what we call it it'll it'll just come flat so what happens here when the water Water hits the splasher, it diverts itself all the way down into the gutter, as you can see. And um, it just keeps water from crossing over and trying to get underneath this tile. So again, that's our little touch to our, one of our flashing details that we do ourselves that no one else does. Okay, step number four. This is what we call a wall the roof flashing. Uh, of course, you've got the flashing going up the wall and then on the roof. Um, another important factor of installing a roof because if you don't have the right flashing and you don't have it, it, it has to be underneath, underneath this, uh, this, this uh, Tamco seal tape that we use. It's, a, it's a, another adhesive tape and then once your, your stucco guy will come in here, he'll put his screen over this tape. So any water that gets underneath there would roll off. If, if indeed any water got underneath this wall, it would just roll off over this flashing. And, and keep from going inside the roof. Um, this is the last row of shingles that's important that it goes up underneath and all the way to the wall. And then we come back and mortar each one of these openings here to get a complete tight seal. Another import, important factor here is a two by two drip edge that we use, that we install. And again, this is pre-made. It's, it's made out of a product called Paint Grip. So when you go to paint it, uh, it's not that shiny galvanized where, where, where it won't take to the paint. This is designed to take a, a primer and a paint and hold uh, to match the color, whatever color you use on your, or on your fascia here. It'll, it'll, certainly, it'll certainly stick. Another important factor is the ice and water shield going over the 2x2 two two drip edge. So therefore, if there is any water that runs through, it runs through and it comes out through your, through your drip edge, over your drip edge. And then there's a... Uh, what we call a bird stop. This is a metal bird stop. What, what that basically means is a lot of times if, if, if back in the day they didn't have this metal bird stop, they, they, birds would actually create their nest in there and you'd have birds all over, all, all along your house. So uh, that's another important factor that we use on every job is, is the metal bird stop versus the uh, mortar. And the final step is the installation of the tile. Uh, as you can see, we overlap right at four inches on each tile. The most important thing to do is, and you have to make sure that either us or your, your installer does, is to, to mark, mark a chalk line. Uh, we mark a chalk line approximately every eight foot. As you can see, there's a line here and goes all the way down. And if you come all the way over here, you can see, see it here. And that's how, and we do it in eight foot increments. So we make sure that every line, that every line is straight. Uh, if not, you're going to have a, a tile roof that looks like this. So that's how you keep your line straight on, on this final part of the installation of a Monier tile roof. Another thing you, you need to watch out for is how they stack 
the tile on your roof. You don't want all your tiles stacked in one area because this that's, it is a lot of weight. It's approximately 800, 1,000 pounds per, per square, which is a 10 by 10 area. So what, what's recommended, and of course what we're doing here, is that you spread it out evenly throughout the roof so you're not, again, applying so much pressure on one area of the roof so you, you don't have a possible cave in. What you see here and what we recommend and what we offer on each house is what we call a hurricane clip on each starter roll. In case we have a 100, 110 mile an hour wind, this, this starter roll will not lift. It'll, it's you know, hurricane proof. So, yeah, I mean, again, if you have 140, 150, a true tornado, it's not gonna hold from that. But any uh, over above 70 to 100 mile an hour wind, this will keep your roof from lifting right up. So just uh, remember the hurricane clip. If, if you don't have it on your bed, we automatically put it on our bed. This is just another flashing detail that's also important. And this is what we call uh, sidewall flashing. Uh, and this is another flashing that's designed by Rodriguez Roofing that when the water, water is going to get on, it's going to run down this flashing and when it runs down that flashing, we have a, a little edge here that keeps the water from going inside the flashing and underneath the, sh underneath the tile. So, and then it runs off the roof here. In addition to the uh, sidewall flashing is what we call the Z flashing. Uh, Z flashing is designed to go over the sidewall flashing and it's designed for the stucco mesh to land right on top of here so they have they have a guide from top to bottom so there's no no crooked edges on this again we talked about putting the splasher on here and that's that's another reason we do the splasher is for our, our tile to be guided and guided with a straight line he's he's got a reference point to cut this tile and if you, you look at look at it once again how straight those cuts are we come back on this side you'll have a straight cut so when you look up that valley it's going to you're going to have a straight cut there's some tile there's some valleys that if you look up it, it almost looks like somebody cut it with their teeth. I mean, in this case, I mean, again, because of that splasher that we, we installed, that we, we, um, we came up with at Rodriguez Roofing, is why you're getting a straight, straight cut. We clean up on a daily basis. Uh, all our pallets are, are stacked in one, one area. And uh, of course, our material that we have on the ground, it's all neatly stacked. So uh, just another key of just uh, of going having a perfect job. Just remember, at Rodriguez Roofing, you won't get anything less than the best. We got you covered.